Three students from Cleveland High School of Life Science was chosen to go to Guatemala. Guatemala is a country in Central America. We found out that worms are a major problem there. In Guatemala, eight million people are infected with hookworms a year. We decided to do a flip-flop drive and donate the flip-flops to them. Our original goal was to collect 300 pair of flip-flops, but at the end of our drive, we had collected a total of 613 pair of flip-flops. The whole trip started off with us buried in a mountain of shoes that we had collected from donors. We packed them into seven huge black bags that we checked onto the airplane with us when we left for Guatemala. The first few days of our trip found us at the Centro Cristiano Cultural de Guatemala in Guatemala City. Here is where kids came for a free hot breakfast on weekdays and got schooled in English, agriculture, technology, and ironwork. We helped sort medicine in their tiny pharmacy and we also sorted our shoes into two piles. One was to go with us to Monterico, the other to a Rio Dulce, a small, more rural village that needed shoes for hookworm just as much, if not more, than Monterico. Next on the agenda was a three-hour bus ride to get to Monterico. The old-fashioned school bus was jam-packed full with two people per seat, and every seat was used up. All of our equipment and luggage was jammed into the aisles and on flimsy racks above our heads. The racks also held orange juice and eggs. On a few bumps, we discovered just how flimsy the racks were. A gallon of orange juice fell on my head, and a dozen of eggs fell onto the, one of the doctor's heads. When we got to Monterico, we were rewarded with a cool, salty breeze and an amazing view of the ocean. It was beautiful. On the first day in Monterico, we gave PowerPoints to anyone that came to collect shoes. The PowerPoint talked about what hookworms were, how you got them, and how you could prevent yourself from getting them. After people saw the PowerPoint presentations, we gave out shoes. It was so amazing to see how happy and how thankful people were when they had clean, brand new pair of shoes in their hands that actually fit. The last few days that we were at the clinic, we helped out the doctors. We were each assigned with a doctor, and then every hour or two, we could rotate so that the three of us each got a chance to do everything. The three things we did were help out Dr. Hook and Dr. Julia check up on patients. Help out in the pharmacy, arranging medicine, giving out medicine, and refilling medicine jars. The third thing that we did was to help out with checking if people had diabetes, if women were pregnant, and how many red blood cells people had. We checked how well people could breathe, and we looked at samples under the microscope to see if people had different infections. On the second to last day, we went to a school no bigger than one of our classrooms. Here we gave out shoes and then gave a small presentation using the blackboard. After a little bit of relaxation, the trip came to an end. We learned a lot spending time in Guatemala. Working with doctors is something most high schoolers don't get to experience, but doing so in a developing country with patients who own little more than the land, clothes, and some animals is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Just doing the medical work would have been enough, but then we got to talk to the children and distribute shoes. This in itself was something special. But I think simply being there was the best experience of all. The life many of the people we saw live is so incredibly different from ours. Many of them live with next to nothing, yet they are often happier than us. It was an eye-opener. It made me look at my life differently. I began to see that life is so much more than material, and that simply living is the best blessing of all. It's convinced all of us that going back and helping people is something we want to do over and over again.